Welcome to the channel. The OB6 is in the house. This is a synth from 2016. This synth has been my obsession since I first heard of it, but I only heard of it when Sequential has released its desktop version back in 2021. This was just one year before Dave Smith passed. And if you have been following this channel, when I went to Superbooth, I had a chance to try this instrument for the first time, and I fell in love for it. I mean, this is a collectible item just by the fact that it was designed by Dave Smith and Tom Oberheim. And yes, it is an Oberheim synthesizer with all its classic sounds. Yes, I mean, the OBX, the OBXA brings to the mind immediately Eurythmics and Sweet Dreams, Van Halen. <laughs> I could not contain myself. Rush, New Order, The Police, Queen, you name it. All these classic sounds are there. And on the sequential side, I mean, the profit was used on the soundtrack for Blade Runner, Michael Jackson's Thriller, Kraftwerk, Devo, Pet Shop Boys, and of course, everything in its right place by Radiohead. And it feels for me that everything is inside this box. But I must confess, when, when I first look at the specs, I mean, this is a two oscillator synthesizer. What is so special about it? Of course, everybody talks about its filter that is magical with the notch, all these possibilities to morph between low pass, notch, and high pass you have a band pass to invert the filter if you want to and it has classic analog sounds but this synthesizer really blew my mind on that factory preset that i showed you in the introduction this synth comes with a thousand memory slots but you can actually write your own patches from 0 to 499 and from 500 on you have the factory presets that you cannot change so it is a lot of fun already to navigate through all these 500 patches to get started but when I found number 557 it blew my mind I mean, it has so much movement. I know that part of it 
must be due to the X mod session here where I can use VCO2 and the filter envelope as sources for modulation of VCO1 parameters and the filter. And on top of this you have this very good taste digital emulation of a bucket brigade delay here and many other effects. But this is the type of sound that if I would have listened in an album or anything like that I will have no clue where to get started. It's so much movement, it's so much textures. I was playing with revealing those harmonies with the filter for hours just in this patch. I mean in this video I don't plan to deep dive into the synthesizer. There are plenty of videos on the OB6 out there but the sound blew my mind. I think it was worth every penny. Like for instance this metallic sound There is so much harmonics, so much to the plug sound and again this bucket brigade delay. I mean the sounds I'm showing you are coming directly from the box. I will try to not add anything in post-production so you can hear the closest you get to the original sound. And even directly from the outputs it sounds amazing. Yeah, so like I said, this is the fourth time more or less that I play with this synthesizer. I'm still discovering it. I haven't created my own patches yet to show you. I'm just having a lot of fun with this filter and discovering the presets. So I will have much more in this synthesizer on the channel. I just wanted to share my joy with you guys. So stay tuned for more of this synthesizer in the channel. I will leave you now with a collection of the few presets that I think are really worth it to have a listen. This was a short one, I hope you enjoyed and as always, thanks for watching.
Thank you.